Hi, I'm Nick Vandervoort with Verdesian Life Sciences. I'm a technical development manager here in the Midwest. And today I am about 10 miles or so north of Wessington Springs, South Dakota. And we are out here in a test plot where we're doing replicated strips of our takeoff technology. Our takeoff technology, uh, you may have seen videos in the past on our websites or attended meetings where we've talked about takeoff. That technology basically tells the plant, when you apply that material, tells that plant to go and capture more nitrogen and bring that, that nitrogen into the plant and do constructive things with it, uh, like build amino acids and proteins, which are the building blocks of growth and development and yield ultimately. We have 16 replicates of different rates of takeoff versus an untreated check. And we're gonna be out here several times during the summer evaluating what this looks like. And I'm out here today with Brad Bruton, who is a research agronomist with South Dakota Wheat Growers. And we're seeing some very, very interesting things as we're digging plants and uh, we're making some assessments. So I'm gonna bring Brad in and have him talk about some of the things we're seeing. My name is Brad Rudin. I'm the director of agronomy tech services with South Dakota Wheat Growers. And uh, we're working with this plot out here today. And what we've noticed is we start looking at the plant development in this particular plot. Where we have applied the takeoff, we're noticing some larger plants, larger stock diameters. We're seeing an increase in plant height and in leaf blade width. But one of the most striking differences we saw between our untreated and our, and our high rate treatment was in the root development. If we look at the development on this, uh, this plant here, this came from our untreated plot. Um, a couple things we noticed, we have decent root development. We, had, uh, we were very dry earlier, but we did pick up some decent rain here recently. This is a strip till field, so these had good growing conditions to be able to access nutrients. And we had pretty good root development in there. But if we compare that root development to the root development on the high rate treatment, we can certainly see a much larger root system uh, we and one of the most striking differences is the development of these crown roots that have developed to, to a much greater extent on the treated uh, on the treated plot. We're also noticing uh, uh, some differences here in the stock diameter. I think that should be pretty striking, even on the on the video, the difference in the in the stock diameter, and that it associates to leaf diameter. We're hoping our leaf uh, blade width, and we're certainly hoping that that develops throughout the season here in better access to nutrients quicker development maybe and hopefully bottom line some larger yield if we're looking at these particular plots. 